If you have to blink, do it now. Kubo and the Two Strings. This is the latest offering from Leica Animation. I love their stuff. I haven't reviewed it on the channel before because I haven't been doing this long enough to have done the ones that I've seen and I actually still haven't gotten around the box trolls, but I really like their stuff. I like their visual style. I like the kinds of stories they tend to tackle. I love their ambition and Kubo very much in their wheelhouse. First of all, I shouldn't even have to say this. It is gorgeous. It looks amazing. It looks stunning. I, I mean, I'm a sucker for stop motion animation anyway, but it's just inventive. It's gorgeous. It doesn't try and hide the fact that this stuff is handmade. You can see the seams in a way that kind of makes it a little bit more beautiful, a little bit more endearing. So it's just beautiful to look at. Story-wise, it's pretty basic. It's really very fundamental. It's a very standard young boy with a destiny to fulfill on a quest kind of thing. But it's borrowing all of its elements from Eastern mythology as opposed to Western mythology. So what that means is instead of dragons and castles and wizards, we instead get, you know, sisters with masks who summon smoke beasts and moon kings and origami brought to life by a kid playing a stringed instrument and it's awesome. And I do, I do want to say this was a really good movie. It looked great. I had a lot of fun. It had some really good emotional moments throughout, but there was something about it coming out of the theater that I was like, I feel like I should have liked that a little bit more than I did. And it took me a little while to figure out what it was. There's just something slightly off about the balance in terms of its appeal towards older and younger audience. And it does have appeal to both. And again, this is a good movie. Don't let what I'm about to say make you think otherwise. And if you like anything like it has ever done before, absolutely see this. But here's the thing. I was watching it and there are certain aspects of the plot and the story. I don't want to call them twists, but there's certain roads that the narrative goes down that are kind of predictable. And honestly, that's the sort of thing that I am liable to give a pass on for a movie aimed at kids. But the thing is, it's a little too slowly paced, it's a little too contemplative to get away with that in my mind. And by that, I mean, I actually brought my daughter to this movie with me and she did enjoy it. She didn't check out completely, but I could see her interest wavering. So it's paced a little too slowly for young kids, yet is trying to get away with the sorts of narrative shortcuts and standard, you know, turns of the story that really you can only get away with if you're appealing to young kids who haven't seen a lot and already know, you know, that these are tropes. So it doesn't quite nail the sweet spot that Paranorman nailed. Now, Paranorman is also a movie that, you know, I actually am not going to try and show my daughter for a while because she's not old enough because that movie is older. It is more contemplative, but it also has things that go on with the story, particularly at the end of that movie that is like, it really earns the fact that it has that slower pacing. This Kubo and the Two Strings, like I said, there's a couple of narrative shortcuts that they take that I'm kind of like, if you're gonna try and do that, you need to pick up the pace of the thing overall. But again, this was a really good movie. It was a really fun movie. It was a gorgeous movie. The action scenes are really good. It had good heart. It's just, it's not, it doesn't quite nail the balance that I think Leica was going for. Odds are it's still gonna show up in my top 10 at the end of the year, but I had my nitpicks and it seems like with other reviews I'm seeing and reading, I'm the only one who feels this way. So I'm gonna throw it out there, see if I get eaten alive or not. But what were your thoughts on this if you've seen it? If you haven't seen it, what is your favorite Leica animation film? If you haven't guessed already, mine's Paranorman. But what is it for you? Whatever it is, drop something down in the comments and let's talk about it. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check me out on Twitter at Council of Geeks. Give a listen to the Council of Geeks podcast, home of 90s comics retrial that is available on iTunes and Stitcher. And until next time, I will be back as soon as I can get my next fix.